Hello and happy Labor Day to everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying your day off, doing whatever you want to do, staying safe, having fun. I'm in my apartment and I'm about to play some video games. So we've been debuting a lot of cards lately, the eighth inning bosses. I debuted Ted Williams as well. But there was another card that came out in the midst of all this, the Set 49 Headliner card. And it's a 99 overall Future Stars Royce Lewis from the Minnesota Twins. This card looks pretty sick, dude. It's pretty well around. He's got gold fielding on the card with 86 arm strength, 90 speed, really good against lefties, pretty solid against righties. But I think the thing that makes him really valuable is all the secondary positions you could put him in. You could put him anywhere in the infield other than first, anywhere in the outfield. This guy can really do it all on the field. Like I said, this is the set 49 headliner card. The new headliner is going to be set 50. That's going to come out on Wednesday. And they said in their most recent live stream that that is going to be the end of headliner packs. They are cutting it off at 50. I don't really like that. I don't like the fact that we're already losing out on headliners and it's only September. I think they could at least go to October. There's tons of guys that still need flashbacks that wouldn't necessarily be like end game cards. In my opinion, it's a missed opportunity, but we'll see if they decide to, you know, maybe replace it with a different type of pack. Who knows? On Wednesday, I am going to debut whoever is the set 50 headliner, but if you guys want to see a team full of headliners, like a full headliner team build on Thursday, hit the like button. Let's get this video to like 2,000 and likes and I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. Also, I feel like I'm doing this a lot lately. Last week it was Tom Seaver. Now it's Lou Brock. Lou Brock unfortunately passed away this weekend, but similar to the way we use Tom Seaver, we're going to do the same for Lou Brock. Lou Brock, rest in peace. I'm also using a card that I have been kind of like wanting to use, but never really found the right time. Jorge Posada, switch hitting catcher. This card is an absolute nightmare for me to pitch to. I can never get this guy out. So I felt like I had to try him at some point. Today's going to be the day. So the squad looks good. We got Lou Brock over there and left. We got Royce Lewis at short. We got Posada there behind the dish. Other than that, the team looks pretty similar. We've got Chipper over at third today. And I think for this one, we will be starting Prestige Oral. I'm also still undefeated in this ranked season, so I'm really trying to continue that. We got to take on St. Louis. He's got four prestige cards in there along with the new 99 Pudge. If you guys didn't see the Pudge debut I posted yesterday, make sure to go check that out. Oh, that's a good pitch, but an even better swing from the man himself, Lou Brock. We might, uh, I was gonna see if I could stretch it to three. I might have made it, but it's not worth it, especially with Royce Lewis coming up. Ah, that's a good pitch. It's a good change up low and in, man. 0 for 1 with Lewis. It's another good pitch, man. He's executing these pitches well with the guy in scoring position. And I missed it. Good pitches, dude. Really, really good pitches. Respect. Nice little line out over to right. Straight over there to Trout. Usually we got Larry playing there, but we're working on those Trout prestige stats still. Oh, I think Trout can get this. Nope. Not even close. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he would even have a chance at that. Got him to pop up. Let's go. Big out. Nice. Get there, Oral. Look at the PFPs that Oral was practicing in spring training. So, in the comments of this video, uh, I actually have two questions. Number one, what do you think about Royce Lewis? Do you think he looks like a really good card? Have you tried him? You know, let me know your thoughts about him. And number two, at this point in time, before the next headliner comes out, because we don't know who that's going to be, it could be another future star. But at the time of me recording this video, who do you think is the best future stars card in the game? Do you think it's Royce Lewis? Do you think it's Joe Adele? Personally, for me, I still think it's Casey Mize. I think he's the most valuable card that... Um, or the val most valuable future stars card in the game. Oh my god, okay, I'm just giving up nothing but hits right now. Come on, Trout, get it in. Did you see how many steps Trout took out there? You're telling me he took that long to get his balance? Let's see, he fields the ball here. We got one, two, three, four, five. Like, how many steps do you need, Mike? But who's the best future stars card in the game? What's your opinion on that? I want to know. Good cutter. Double play. Ah, oh, I should have went home with it. I could have got the out at home and then the out at first. Ah, it's all good. It's all good. It's still early. Finally, I'm getting a chance to use Posada. Let's see if he's just as good. Oh, yup. 
<laughs> Wait, what? What just happened? Don't tell me I just lost that game. But awards tour. What? That's he got to World Series on that? Are you kidding? What? That's how I get my first loss. What a buzzkill, dude. That's such a stupid way to get my first loss of the season. All right, well, let's bounce back. Nice pitch, Tommy. There you go. What are you? Are you going to swing the bat or what's happening here? Come on, Hornsby. You got it. You got it. Atta boy, one, two, three for Seaver. Well, honestly, this may even work out better because now we have Royce Lewis against the lefty. That pitch looked so good, but it just kept breaking low and inside, man. Oh, what a spot. I'm over two with Royce Lewis, but they've both been on really good pitches. Light ball to right, we got that. One down. Tom Seaver's been pitching well so far. There you go. Atta boy, Royce Lewis. Nice play. All right, a little, little late swing the other way. That's fine. We got two outs. Oh, no. That was, dude, I got to stop making bad pitches to Ernie Banks. That's the second one already today. Get him at second. Get him at second. We might have him. Let's go, Mickey Mantle with the outfield assist. We got to turn some bad base running into some momentum offensively. Let's go, Royce Lewis. You're starting it off. There it is, the first knock with him. Let's go. Oh, he's gonna score on that easily, 90 speed. Mickey Mantle, putting it in the gap. Let's go, is that gonna be a triple? Nah, it's just gonna be. Why did he go back? No, no. He's safe, oh my God. I used L1 right there. I should have just pointed for him to go home. So I messed that up, but it's all good. We got bases loaded for this guy. Trout, let's go, in the gap. Best card in the game right now. Am I actually gonna send him home properly this time? I am. Base is clearing double for the fish. Doesn't get any easier with Chipper up next. That's gonna be really close. That might be gone. Chipper with a two run bomb. It's five nothing. Finally, the offense has been waking up. Come on, Tommy. Why are you so slow? Atta boy, that's a big out. Popped up. Let's go, dude. After a big inning, you go and put up a zero. That gives you just even more confidence going into the later innings of this game. That was probably the best swing he's had all game. Too bad it's going to be a fly out to center. We're going to go to the bottom of the fifth, and Royce Lewis is going to lead it off again. Second straight inning we've had Royce Lewis leading off. He started the rally last time. Get through. Get through. Come on. Yes, it's past him. Second hit of the game. I think I missed that with Mantle just barely, but I missed it. I'm going to run right here on one, two. I didn't swing, and he's in there with a stolen base. Double play is gone. That ball smoked. Wow, that's just going to be caught at the track, though. We'll get him to third. Trout's coming up. Ball four. I could understand that. You do not want to pitch to Mike Trout in that situation. You probably should have put him on anyway. Chipper, come on, fall. That's going to go right to him. Ah, not a bad swing at all. We are on to the ninth. Tom Seaver's got 88 pitches. We're going for the complete game shutout. Still don't know why some people don't use Tom Seaver, man. He's honestly probably a top three pitcher in the game for me. Oh, I'm going to take this away. Aw, oh, dude, I'm such a bully. Mike Trout. This guy thought he might have had the first run of the game for him. Mike Trout, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man, I'm such a bully. Dude, I'm just happy that Tom Seaver has pitched really well in this game because other than that one big inning where I scored all my runs, it's been a pretty sloppy performance for the offense. Like, I just, I haven't been connecting on the ball too well. I haven't been squaring it up. My timing's been a little bit suspect. So uh, this was definitely a start that was much needed. Okay, I don't know how that hung like that, but that one was, yeah, he, I'm not going to take that one away. That may be one of the worst pitches I've thrown in MLB The Show possibly ever. Nice. Two down. Oh, dude, I kind of wanted to die for that with Lou Brock. That would have been fun. 
There we go. How fitting that in the Royce Lewis debut, he records the final out of the game. That's a 5-1 to one W. Tom Seaver will probably be the player of the game here. Yeah, nine innings, nine strikeouts, five hits, only one earned run. Yeah, it's got to go to him. Royce Lewis, two for four. Uh, well, technically two for five if you count the one at bat we had in the game that we apparently disconnected on. But, I mean, like I said, other than the fourth inning, I played really sloppy in this game. So that was a big inning for me, and Tom Seaver's start was magnificent. This was a good win. I really wish I wouldn't have gotten that disconnect because I'd still be undefeated. So I would say that I like Royce Lewis. Um, I'd like to get some more at-bats with him to see maybe, you know, if I want to keep him. I mean, I'm going to keep him probably if we do that headliner uh, team build. So either way, you'll probably see him again because I'm sure you guys are going to hit that like goal. But yeah, he's a cool card. I mean, he definitely wouldn't start over Ernie. He definitely wouldn't start over a player of the month, Tatis, if that's who we get. But he's definitely an exciting card and a fun card to, you know, get some swings with. So in the comment section, remember to tell me who you think the best future stars player in the game is as well as giving me your opinion on Royce Lewis if you guys enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up button 2,000 likes on Thursday we'll do a full headliner team build if you're new to the channel and you want to see that as well as all the other videos make sure to subscribe I appreciate you guys watching hope you have a good rest of your day peace